Hello, Vishal. I'm fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm totally good. Yeah. So you're done with your placement, right? Yeah, I'm done with my placement. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know that. <laughs> so yeah. you're chilling right now. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, okay, that is great. So yeah, let's get on to the discussion directly. So can you just give yeah. me a brief intro about yourself, like your uh, previous college, uh, and work experience, if any, and how to come to Bates, and why not any other college? Just that. Yeah, like I have done my graduation in uh, computer science only in 2019. And after that, I have done an uh, internship uh, as a front end developer. And like I have, I have uh, like thought of go going for the master's. So I have given the gate exam and the bit stage exam. And currently, I am doing a master's in bits Pilani, uh, Pilani campus in computer science. Okay, so you have completed one year of uh, MTech, right? Yeah, now I am in third semester. Okay, and the placements are, uh, yeah, placements are also done for you. Uh, yeah, placement has started in the end of July, I think, and yeah, they are now on, uh, ongoing. So, like, where are you placed actually? Uh, currently, I am placed in Cisco uh, as a application development engineer. That they have this profile. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, uh, congratulations yeah. on that. Uh, <laughs> that's a great yeah, achievement, thanks. I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, okay. So. Uh, Please give me like what was the eligibility criteria to apply for uh, Cisco? Uh, they have this CGPA cutoff of six, and like for graduation or, or post graduation cutoff that was six, and it it was a like five round process, the complete placement process. Uh, they initially they had their pre placement talk, and after that uh, five rounds were there. And in the first round was the uh, written test where we have the uh, it was like one and a half hour test where we had. 15 MCUs and two coding questions. And those two coding questions are like, uh, one is based on the string and the other is based on the uh, graph. So that string question was like, uh, it, if you can search on the internet, it's a, it's a, it is related to uh, that expressive word problem of strings. And the other one I was not able to uh, like remember at all, but it is based on the graph concept only. And there are 15 questions which are like based on the OOPS concepts, uh, the CN and OS, and some uh, applied questions were also there. And the test was conducted on the hacker rank platform. And uh, yeah, we have a choice of languages to choose from. So C and other languages also there. And it was a proctored exam. And after that, uh, uh, the shortlisted candidates were uh, like given the technical rounds. So the, there are like uh, yeah, three technical rounds. Round the techni uh, the, after return days, the first round was the technical round. Uh, in that round, initially, like they have comforted me, like by greetings, and like they have the first question. Generally, they ask is, uh, like, tell me about yourself, and after that, they move on to my projects. I have explained one of my projects, and some questions related to my project were asked, like how, this, what are the technologies you have used, and what are the data structures that are required in this uh, uh, project, and what are the problems you have faced in those. So after that, we move on to the uh, like technical part. The, uh, the she asked me a questions on uh, some power set. You have given a, a set of some characters, let's say A, B, C, and you have to generate the strings of its power set. So like for example, this A, B, C will have the eight uh, strings, starting from uh, the empty string to the all characters string. And okay. the other question was, uh, uh, it was based on the uh, linked list question. So let's say a number. Uh, given and it is represented in a linked list. So you have to add one to it and you have to return the head of that uh, linked list. So for example, a 345, let's say a number. So the linked list as is uh, as like three node with three, four, five, and you have to give the result as three, four, six in the linked list manner. So like she asked me to code this uh, linked list question and she asked me to write the functions of it. And after that, uh, she asked me to dry run the with sample test kit. And like in the end, she was uh, satisfied with the uh, with the code. And then she asked me to uh, just give the approach of like uh, how to implement the LRU cache. Uh, initially, she asked me the what is the LRU cache and then the approach of it. After that, she moved, moved on to the uh, like the technical uh, subjects like CN and OS. In OS, she asked me about uh, what are the uh, like deadlock and its conditions, uh, what is semaphore, types of semaphores. And in computer networks, uh, she asked me about uh, like what are the IP addresses, uh, that classes of IP addresses. 
and in the end she uh, asked me about a puzzle like uh, you have given it's a two hour class puzzle uh, one is a seven cent uh, one is seven hour and one is four hour you have to get measure the nine hour uh, uh, nine hours with the help of this two hour classes so like i will suggest you you go on to the uh, gigs for gigs puzzle section and uh, read all these puzzles so that was the first round and yeah, yeah. so the second round was uh, second round was the uh, managerial round so initially he like comforted me with some uh, normal uh, conversation we had it was like friendly friendly conversation with him and he just asked me the questions based on based on the project so we had like 30 minute uh, discussions on the project part only uh, so what are the problems we i have faced during the uh, like during this project how the, how you have handled the team like what are the problems occurred with the team members and then he asked me about the testing part of your project so how i have done the testing what are the uh, methods of testing i have applied on it so based on this uh, the conversation was happened and the overall conversation was like uh, very friendly he was smiling and he was satisfied with the my answers and like whatever the issues i have like had with front end and back end uh, he also understood th- those and i have given the solution then like what we have how we have resolved it and then the third round was the directorial round uh, similarly like in this round also like uh, he has asked me about our projects and like i have mentioned a project based on uh, our uh, we have one course uh, object oriented analysis and design and there i have uh, like implemented a project uh, it's a team project uh, it's based on the object oriented programming and web development so he asked me a questions based on that like uh, what is the software as a service that is saas and ma- what are microservices like how you have implemented and then the testing portions of it uh, similarly to the second round only and then uh, he asked me some hr kind of questions like uh, where do you see yourself in the some next few years or and um, what are the which which field you are interested to work in and yeah so that's how the direct hr round was there and then the last round was the hr round uh, it was kind of 5 minutes round like he he uh, she just asked me like what are my location preferences why cisco and like availability for the internship of the next uh, year so that's how my rounds were there happened okay so if i understand correctly the first round was a written test and then two yeah. uh, pre technical rounds then uh, one hr round right yeah correct okay and in the first technical round you were asked some coding questions and in in the other rounds there were no coding questions right yeah the other two rounds were based on the projects part only Okay, okay. And uh, what about the uh, technical concepts in the uh, other two rounds, final two rounds? Uh, yeah, in the directorial round, he also asked me regarding the uh, uh, computer networks, uh, uh, like uh, concepts like the, what are the switches, routers, and how they are functioning, and what are the uses of routers? Why, why to use? Uh, what are the protocols of uh, routing protocols? Yeah, these concepts uh, he has asked in the directorial round. Okay, and what would be the level of these uh, technical questions? Like, is it gate level or uh, something more than that? Uh, mostly the uh, normal concepts, like the gate level concepts, only like uh, they have asked. It's it was not like that much advanced or in in depth, but just the basic understanding of the all these basics required. Okay, and did they ask anything regarding SQL or DBMS? Uh, no, SQL and DBMS part was not there. They just focused on the CN and the OS part mostly. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah. That is great. And uh, so, like, what was the uh, position offered in Cisco for you? The role offered uh, in like Cisco. Like, there were three profiles. Uh, they have like coming. They have came for like the first one was the network, uh, the embedded, and the application development. And mostly, they will offer the application development uh, part for the computer science uh, uh, people. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. And yeah. So you have got the application development profile only, right? Huh. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay. I think the interview process is pretty clear now. And uh, so, how did you prepare for the written test? Basically, the coding and the MCQs. Um. Uh, mostly, like as like coding uh, coding questions are based on like I have prepared much of questions on Geek Geek for Geeks. there is a section of uh, all mostly asked questions uh, uh, present on that geeks for geeks website and other than that i have practiced some hacker rank uh, questions like problem solving questions on hacker rank 
and some sort of like uh, some questions on lead code also i have prepared so that that was the coding part and regard after that uh, some technical for technical question like i have used the gate notes uh, for mostly i focused on the operating system and the computer networks part and because is com generally asks this uh, questions on this uh, this subjects only so i focused on those subjects and along with that also i have prepared dbms uh, and the oops concept okay fine fine so that yeah. was all that you prepared right and uh, uh, what about the questions uh, that come out of this resume like uh, what kind of question do they ask is it like a uh, high level questions or do they go into the details of the uh, project which you have done uh, mostly that like whichever technologies i mentioned on my in my project so he asked me the questions on that only like, like uh, for example i have given the uh, technology stack as angular so he asked me okay why angular uh, like that questions he have asked and and yeah like for in back end i use spring boot so some questions on spring boot also he has asked uh, so that that part only you know from resume they have asked okay okay and they don't go into the details of the implementation of the project right uh yeah they don't go in that that in depth they, they just take like how much understanding or like how much you have seen the uh, project like how you are solved issues they just need that knowledge on okay okay fine so that is really good and uh, like how did you prepare for the interviews like uh, did you do any mock interviews or you just prepared on your own uh like i, I have a group of some friends that i have prepared with them and we we used to have some uh, doubt sessions or we used to have some mock interviews with them and like that 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 will help uh, like for the other aspirants also like if you do in group that will really help and it will not take that much time so i will suggest to do in groups preparation of okay interview. okay and uh, did you like uh, use any platform for this mock interviews or you just prepared with your friends uh like i haven't used any other platform we just had this conversation on our interviews on the uh, like normally google meet or microsoft uh, teams okay okay fine fine that is yeah. really great so yeah one last question so uh uh, uh mostly uh, like what topic should the person prepare like concentrate on for this kind of uh, placement process is it uh, completely coding or the technical or resume or like what you would suggest um uh, like initially like if, when you are making resume you should be very confident about like what things you are writing on your resume so like it should not be like okay there are so many points about my project so i will write everything just write and mention only the brief points like what are the important concept or what you are you know about the projects so that you should uh, maintain your uh, resume other than that like uh, like as i mentioned like you uh, do all the coding basic or uh, the important coding questions which are available on expert gigs and you should be uh, like for the cisco uh, comp- cisco or other uh, network related companies like they mostly focus on the cn and os part as i mentioned so like in cn you should uh, focus on the uh, tcp part or the network layer part and uh, in os deadlock and synchronization uh, this this uh, topics are important so focus on that and like in every company oops is important so just focus on the oops concepts and and if you have this uh, object oriented uh, analysis and design course you should also focus on the design patterns so like i have asked they have asked me a questions on design patterns also like singleton pattern they have asked and how to implement that and example for that they have asked me so based on the electives you should be ready with the question so yeah that okay, is so it. whatever returned the resume should be pretty clear right yeah okay fine fine and uh, did they ask any questions on dynamic programming in any of the rounds uh, no in my case no they haven't asked me any dynamic uh, programming questions but like as i have uh, like given some other uh, companies test like there might be a chance of uh, like in written test they might ask uh, dynamic problem questions so yeah that's okay fine fine that is great that is great and like uh, do you have any suggestion to the future aspirants or people who are looking for a job in a company like cisco uh yeah i will i will just uh, say that like do your projects like do like some good projects and like uh have in depth knowledge of what whatever things or whatever technologies you are implementing on that projects and 
yeah like practice a good coding uh, questions uh, like as i mentioned on the geeks for geeks or lead code or hacker rank and be be prepared with the uh, this gate uh, gate related stuff like uh, cn os or dbms these are very important for your interviews and oops concept along with that so yeah that is my suggestion okay and uh, you did the coding from mostly from grg only right the must be coding yeah, questions from grg and the hacker rank platform okay okay fine, fine that is really good and did you do any kind of uh, company specific preparation uh like beforehand i have like i have seen like there are some there are some article presents on present on the geeks for geeks website like you can uh, go with the previous experience of people who have given the interviews you will get a lot of uh, idea like how they are asking the questions or what type of questions you will get in the interview so yeah and also i would like to mention uh, whichever language you are uh, mentioning in your resume you should be very clear with the concept of that, that language like in my case they have asked me the questions on c++ because i have mentioned that my preferred language is c++ so they have asked me the questions on the what are the types of constructors in the c++ and uh, multiple inheritance in c++ so be ready with the concepts on based on your preferred language okay fine and uh, do they prefer any particular language or they are just open to any programming language uh it it was not any restriction on given um, by the cisco like you have to use this language or not you can choose any language you are comfortable with okay fine fine that is good that is really good so i think yeah i'm done with the questions uh, it was great talking to you and uh, yeah. uh finally i would like to congratulate you once again for your achievement yeah. uh, it's a great thing actually so yeah thanks a lot thanks for your interview Thank yeah you. Thanks a lot. Bye.